hi hello everyone again uh, welcome back again to my channel and this is another uh, session another session of this clean architecture so this session will uh, will create will implement an infrastructure layer and uh, you know if you if you come first time in this session so in this series so definitely i'll recommend to you know before to proceed this one so you have to know like okay how we can create a domain uh, domain layer and how we can create a project architecture so i'll share this link in this video okay so go to check out and first learn and understand like what is that then proceed to this so moving start to next like okay how we can uh, infrastructure layer implement so first we have to understand what is infrastructure layer okay so so if infrastructure layer this layer provide implementation of the external dependency such as the database and external services or third party libraries like we'll use uh, we'll show the example as well like you know we using entity framework or sqlite okay with the sqlite so those are you know implementation should be here only okay so that our core is not you know dependent anything so that a third party stuff so and then other is, is uh, it is depend on the domain application layer so this domain is a uh, depend to here actually this infrastructure and it contain data access implementation repository and external service client and other infrastructure specification components okay so these are the you no know, uh, no like okay so just read it and just start the implementation so what are uh, okay so let's create a folder of that you know data so first we have to implement the db context so just install data okay, so data and now create a db context class so that create a class db context so it is called actually blog tv on text text okay okay so before do that i think there's a some dependency also some project uh, packages dependency because if i trying to implement entity framework or you know database stuff sqlite so definitely some packages is required okay so let's add some packages and uh, let's bring that name space actually two packages are required two or three packages so first is required entity framework entity framework okay so entity framework core just install this one except okay this is done then other one is required tools okay so just install the tools so that actually we can add update delete you know add migration update migration we can perform in these tools okay. this is also almost done and now final is required is sqlite because this time we using sqlite provider so that's why sqlite so install this okay and now i think almost yeah so these are three packages is required so let me zoom it so that while you implement so can check out okay so yeah these three packages so entity framework core core sqlite tools okay so now it's done dependency means that package is done and uh, what we can do we can just start the implementation so for db context we can inject we can in, inherit the db context so db text okay so db text bring the namespace okay it is entity framework and now okay also make it public and uh, create a constructor oh, sorry create a constructor not a property so ctor okay and then we have to actually uh, 
inject you know sub uh, db context option okay text option and uh, just point out whatever our context class in this db context okay so it is a part of actually uh, entity framework so it is not a related any uh, clean architecture stuff so if you don't know about that entity framework so definitely i recommend to go to our videos means our youtube channel and check out like what is the entity framework and how we can implement okay so let's create a you know db set so that whatever our db db set blog our blog so bring that namespace okay before bring the namespace okay because this is a part of domain layer okay so that reference is required so just add some reference okay so that we can you know we can we can implement our stuff over here so just domain layer okay just add the domain layer and then just bring that namespace yes so this is done also just blocks okay so db set also created so that based on this db set actually our table will create update delete everything you know, based on the db set okay so this is done block context is done now we we have to create you know one repository for the implementation so we create in the domain layer see the interface okay so this repository we have to implement in the infrastructure layer so what we can do we can create a folder let's call it uh, repository right repo it uh, this okay and just create a blog repository okay blog repository okay public okay i think name is oh so just rename it because the name is not correct actually repository okay so this is correct again. okay so rename it so right click this is a visual studio is a great feature to right click if you right click so everything will be changed okay from the class name as well the file name okay so let's start the implementation before just bring i blog i blog repository and that implement that uh, okay the implement start the implement so click implement interface so all the default implement it will sh showing over here so let's start so before we start i think we have to create uh, inject actually our uh, our db context class so that we can you know whatever perform we have to do we can do easily over it so let's db context class inject over here so blog db context this and just create a property and assign to over here so that i can use it okay so i am not writing a code for insert update delete everything just i have a you know ready to ready i have the sample so just copy paste so that we can save our time okay just first create implement that create well I, what i explain actually and just change it to a thing because i use the await so await and just change to this guy to this guy okay and also change our db set name so what was our db set so db set means blogs and just we have what is we to use the add method okay this is the entity framework actually provide that method entity framework core and just pass that entity whatever entity so it will add it and then finally save change so db will be save okay so this is straightforward now change is to delete so let's just implement a start for delete okay same thing we have to do it change to our db context name okay whatever our inject over here also just async 
okay and then this is also just change to blog okay and then return and finally execute method so this execute method coming also into the framework so let's bring that namespace okay this namespace also bring over here and finally delete also done okay, similar similar fashion we have to do in our you know get get call so let's start to get async and change it to this one like because in previous uh, demonstration i think i created wrong name so this is a right name simply our things and then get all you know all the blocks to list async okay this is simple and then one more stuff like this okay and then make it async as a and change it to okay the change it to this okay our you know, injected value our db context and then as a as a note tracking actually this is a method called as a note tracking so that you know we can't track anything okay and uh, just call a first and default and based on the comparing we returning the blocks okay and then final one we have to we have to update actually so let's update okay change it to async put as the sync and change it to save okay so oh yes now it is also simple like we first uh, fetch that you know the db set and data set and then find the model that whatever entity and based on the find the entity we just said okay set property in this this and but this one is not required i think we have to do okay just only set this you know like name description author and this and so on. so we have to update this this step only or we can okay just leave it there's just some bug we'll we'll fix it okay so okay now now implementation also done okay so this is done and uh, okay this is done but yeah migration as of now also it is a dependent some migration stuff okay so that will done once i actually complete this whole stuff but yeah for the layer wise this is complete actually the infrastructure layer only just you know we have to you know create a context thing stuff and all the you know packages we can bring our bring out and uh, we can implementation okay so this is done for infrastructure so next session will come uh, will will learn like okay we'll implement the application layer okay how we can create a application layer and finally we'll uh, will consume our api okay so thank you so much have a nice day please don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe and like and share okay?